to a large degree, New Jersey is a, is a suburban state and um, you know, nature is all around us. And, uh, and kids probably understand that best, and especially when kids get outdoors. Duke Farms is a great learning laboratory for students and teachers. Through these habitat preservation efforts, we're connecting what teachers do in their classrooms to our work here at Duke Farms. One of the goals for Duke Farms is to help classroom teachers become environmental educators. We want them to understand that so much of the work that they're already doing in their classroom is environmental education. It's not something extra that teachers need to worry about bringing into their classroom. Education is hugely important because uh, people need to have those experiences. They need to understand wildlife. They need to see that we are part uh, of a system. Um, that nature is, is not something separate, it's where you live and, uh, and you can find it in, in the soil, you can find it in your garden, you can find it in small places, you don't just have to go to national parks to see this. The Conserve Wildlife Foundation of New Jersey and Duke Farms co-sponsored the Eagle Cam Lesson Plan contest this year. And the idea was to take teachers who were doing really cool and innovative stuff in their classroom and highlight that work. So I started to watch the Eagle Cam years ago when it first came online, and I shared it with my students. They were all excited. I would get stopped when I was in ShopRite, hey, by a parent, we watched that cam together. It's great. Thanks for letting us know about it. Webcams are, are really great at making um, bringing you into something that people normally don't see. But to have that in the schools that um, hopefully all kids are going to get some idea that uh, there's a natural world out there that we're a part of, we're not separate from it. The Eagle Gam is a great motivator. This year I've decided to take a more um, active approach in actually using the webcam in my lesson plans. So I've used the Eagle Cam this year uh, as a point of interest to do a research project on bald eagles. They worked in teams, they researched together, and then they did a slide presentation to show their work. They're interested in the, the webcam. They start to have their own questions about the eagles. Um, I think the Eagle Cam really makes it real for them. These kinds of opportunities are the things that excite students and they excite teachers about learning. And if teachers are excited about learning, their kids get excited about learning. So Diane Cook was an awesome teacher to work with. She, I've never met anyone that's more excited about bald eagles. Um, she definitely translates that enthusiasm into her classroom and that's evidenced by how excited her students are about what they're learning. The nest that we went to today is on a power line transmission tower, which is unusual. When we ban chicks, uh, the first thing we do is, is take a blood sample. We use that for uh, looking for the degree to which they are exposed to environmental contaminants. And then the rest of the time we were taking some measurements from which we can tell uh, age and sex, and then we put the light bands on. Once those chicks um, were returned to the nests and the eagles have you know, super superior vision, so they knew exactly where those chicks were, um, they actually calmed down uh, once they saw them. They stopped uh, vocalizing and they were still circling over. On a da daily basis, you don't have the chance to sit inside of an eagle's nest and watch that life happen around you. Duke Farms has the opportunity to give teachers these kinds of great experiences that they can bring back into their classrooms to get their kids excited about anything they're trying to teach. I think it's important that we have conservation success stories that came from people working together and agreeing that this is what we want to do. We want to see eagles return.